front lines of Mindanao's forgotten war. The helicopter's flight path takes us over the swamps and jungles that have seen peace over the past four years, but have known war far longer. This monsoon season is seeing the most serious tests so far of the ceasefire between the Moro Islamic Liberation Front and the Philippine government. This decades-long conflict is born of complexity, centuries of ethnic, clan and religious rivalries. The Secretary of Defense is consulting with generals, local officials and negotiators. They're adapting their plans to match the dangerous mood on the island. This is the home of the 1st Marine Brigade in Basilan. Behind this wall, top military brass are making crucial tactical decisions. There are around 5,000 troops on the island at the moment. Everybody's worried a major offensive could be in the making. This northern side of the island is preparing for the worst. One town mayor says he's been warned the MILF could retaliate to a military attack by striking soft targets in the towns. We have already activated all our internal defense force right. and uh, our uh, the rescue team is already there mm -hmm. in place. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anything goes wrong, mm -hmm. I think uh, we are ready to face. Right. There are checkpoints every few kilometers. Everyone searched for weapons, some are questioned. The Marines are at the heart of the dispute because they were caught in the battle on July the 10th that set all this off. The firefight lasted for eight hours. The MILF admit their gunmen ambushed the Marine patrol, but say none of the dead were mutilated. The Marines say 14 of their number were killed, 10 of them beheaded, and they want those responsible brought to justice. This officer survived the attack. He says about 300 MILF gunmen surrounded his convoy of around 70 Marines. They were walking and firing toward us. They were just casually walking and firing. We gunned down a lot of them, but we were outnumbered, so they overran our position. So this has become a matter of honor for the Marines. The plan of operations is called O-Plan Ultimate Justice. It's a very volatile situation. Any confrontation could set off all-out war, and already stalled peace talks could break down completely. Will, uh, the Marine commander of Joint Task Force Thunder says that's not going to happen if he can help it. We will, we will try to control the firepower. It's not the shock and awe uh, operation. We will be doing this deliberately and uh, we'll have a selective targets. So for now, Lieutenant Soretta and the rest of the Marines are waiting for marching orders. The armed forces are saying they will find the culprits, however long it takes, without putting the peace process at risk. As one general put it, this will be a silent war, and it will be a war of attrition.